There's a Star Wars trailer, a Star Wars comic, and, well, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. This week on Geeked This Week. Thank you for joining us for this week's Geek This Week, our weekly segment where we bring you the geekiest news we could find in about five minutes. Let us know if these stories interest you. Bring some of your own in the comments. Maybe we'll get to them next week. But until then, let's get on with the show. Star Wars The Force Awakens got a new poster showing the light and dark sides. We also got a brand new trailer. That's how you do it. Two trailers and a release? I'm looking at you, Suicide Squad. It looks like Peyton Reed is currently in negotiations with Marvel Studios to return for the 2018 Ant-Man and the Wasp. There's currently no script, but there has been a release date of July 6th, 2018. And if that doesn't make him hype, you should check out a song called Ant-Man the Rap. From Street Thugs to the Boss, it's Ant-Man and Wasp. Just saying. Psst. Say hello to the brand new Fallout 4 Special Edition Xbox One Controller. You can't leave the vault without it. Well, you might not be able to leave the vault without it. Okay, actually, you can leave the vault without it, but your controller won't be special. In a recent interview, Mark Miller mentioned he would like the lead of the upcoming Huck series to be played by Channing Tatum. Let's do this. As long as it's Channing Tatum from Magic Mike and not the Channing Tatum from Foxcatcher. Ooh, why not? Obviously, I'm into Psycho, so it doesn't matter either way. The January 2016 DC Comics solicitations have been released, and there's a new Swamp Thing coming, being written by none other than Len Wayne. Maybe there is a god. No, there isn't. What? <laughs> Star Wars The Force Awakens has shattered box offices. AMC is reporting that they have sold over a thousand tickets in the 12 hours after tickets went on sale. IMAX is reporting that screenings have made $6.5 million domestically, breaking previous IMAX records. The record was previously held by 2012's The Hunger Games. The Force is strong with this one. With the success of the Star Wars comic series, Marvel and Jason Aaron have struck an exclusivity deal through 2016. Now, let's be honest. Jason Aaron is a great writer, but it didn't sell a million copies because of the writing. Let him stick to what he does best. The Twitch app is now live on PlayStation. Users can broadcast or view broadcasts straight from their console. Greatness awaits. I guess the motto is right. You just have to wait a lot longer than the competition. <laughs> Mic drop. Warner Brothers has confirmed that Connor Hawk is coming to the Legends of Tomorrow TV series. They did also note that he will not be the son of Oliver Queen and Sandra Hawk. But we do have to take a look at the show's concept. It is about time travel, and The Flash has brought into consideration of the multiverse... So we may see a version of Connor Hawk that is in fact their son. What we would like to see is a multiverse where the actress playing Iris West knows how to act. Wouldn't that be marvelous? Yeah. Marvel announced a new Punisher series from writer Becky Cloonan and artist Steve Dillon. Cloonan is currently writing Southern Cross at Image Comics and co-writing... Gotham Academy at DC Comics, and she's new to The Punisher. This series will take a look at the hijinks Frank used to get into back in middle school. Straight out of Compton screenwriter Jonathan Herman will be doing a rework on Ghost in the Shell, DreamWorks' live-action adaptation of the classic cyberpunk anime with lead actress Scarlett Johansson. The new title is Straight Out of Newport City. And that is it for Geek This Week, your source for all the geeky news around the internet. 
What did you find in those stories? What attracts your interest? What doesn't? Let us know in the comments below when you give us a thumbs up and subscribe. But until next time, stay geeked up. And always have Xenomorph. Always.